In 1998, Gran Turismo forever changed the face of racing video games as the first racing simulator on PlayStation 1. The next year, Gran Turismo 2 raised the bar even higher. It was an instant success that appealed to gamers and car enthusiasts worldwide. In 2001, Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec debuted with PlayStation 2, taking realistic graphics and precision to a whole new level. Gran Turismo 4 came along and pushed the limits even further racing far beyond everyone's expectations with more than 700 cars and 50 tracks. And now, on the eve of Gran Turismo's 10th anniversary, Polyphony Digital is just hours away from unveiling the newest version of PlayStation's signature franchise at the 2007 Tokyo Game Show, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. Legendary game creator Kazunori Yamauchi is working until the last minute to fine-tune each car before GT5 Prologue makes its official debut. Such attention to detail is what made Gran Turismo the industry standard with over 47 million copies shipped worldwide. But in Kazunori's eyes, it isn't just evolution. It's the only way to reach his ultimate goal. Revolution.
The Tokyo Game Show is the biggest video game event in the world. Kazunori knows that a strong showing is vital to getting both GT fans and the media fired up. So he places even greater pressure on himself to deliver something that he himself is proud of. ちょっと倒れさ。確定運転させて。じゃあ、ダイエレも仕様かな。自分でゲームを作る機会に恵まれた時、ま、これは1993年ぐらいのことだったと思いますけれども、え、その時に出した、え、企画、ま、全部で
We're here at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. Gran Turismo's influence is readily felt within each of the tuned out cars. Kazanori carefully inspects each car, ultimately choosing one that he deems worthy of being immortalized in Gran Turismo 5. It's an honor of the highest order. You're going to see yourself in the next version of Gran Turismo 5. It's going to be pretty cool. All I can do is thank all of the Gran Turismo franchisee for looking for the detail and inspiring us to build a better, better product every year. It's going to push us harder in the years to come to try to keep our level growing at the rate that the game is growing. Actually, when my son first saw yesterday, it's like he said, he got a bit misty-eyed over the whole deal, because it is a big deal. It will put us in front of an audience that we could have never, ever reached before. It's just cool, because it is the car. It drives the way the car drives. It does everything that we ever could have imagined it would have done. Also, uh, what Gran Turismo allows you to do is allows these guys to drive some of the classic cars of yesteryear without actually having to go find one. I've never driven a Chaparral, but thanks to Kazanori, I've actually now felt like I piloted one and, uh, you know, it was, it was great, I loved it. In GT5 Prologue, Kazanori put extra emphasis on enhancing the beauty of the cars, the tracks, the scenery, and all the finest, most minute details. His single-minded determination to pay proper homage to the cars is born from his childhood obsession with the automobile, something he never quite outgrew. ずっと、え、それからホンダのS2000、え、メルセデスのSL55AMG、え、それからポルシェの as Gran Turismo evolved closer and closer to reality, its fan base grew beyond just enthusiast gamers and tuners. Inevitably, professional race car drivers from Formula One to drifting began embracing it as well. Hi, I'm Tanner Faust, and I, uh, I race drift cars and rally cars and pretty much anything I can get my hands on. You get so much of the experience with all the vehicle dynamics that are portrayed in the actual simulator that it can get the hook in people. And once the hook is in them, they'll go out and get themselves some sort of rear-wheel drive car and start practicing on their own. The hardest thing to get off of a two-dimensional screen is that feeling of acceleration. One thing that Gran Turismo is very good at is somehow relating that to the person playing. The way that I'm picking it up is by the nose dipping, like when the car shifts or when I brake, the nose dips down, and I can almost feel that more grip is being moved to the front of the car and it starts to rotate, and you can then connect that to the steering wheel, and all of those things kind of come together to give you a good 85, 90% of the sensations that you get in real life. gotten really good in the simulator will be the quickest learners once they get in the real car and those are the ones that I've got to look out for frankly I've only been in the drifting sport here for three four years this next generation is coming up out of the woodwork and uh, these whippersnappers are uh, you know they're gonna be tough to beat Gran Turismo's pursuit of reality doesn't stop with the cars themselves 
For the first time, players can now race up to 16 cars in online race mode to achieve real racing dynamics. Polyphony Digital also makes equally exhaustive efforts to replicate every last detail of the tracks. Once I became a professional driver, I actually have used the game to learn tracks and, and reaffirm what I remembered about bumpy spots on tracks and things like that. In order to achieve this level of precision, Polyphony Digital sends a team to various racetracks around the world, where they spend two months painstakingly taking anywhere from 20 to 30,000 photographs of each track. I used some of that research that was done to, to learn the track, and it was very, very realistic. They even had the same oak tree that you look for when you're coming out of the corkscrew, a lot of the same bumps. And the thing that I gained the most out of it was probably uh, the feeling of uh, going down and up hills and how that affected your braking zones. I wasn't expecting to really learn when to brake. Polyphony digital designers have to walk a fine line. Their challenge is to make the game as realistic as possible. However, if they make it too real, gameplay will be sacrificed. And with production deadlines looming, Polyphony Digital's creativity is tested daily, as they constantly search for the perfect balance between beauty and functionality. <laughs> Every Gran Turismo release has given Kazunori a chance to break new ground and set new standards. And now, with PlayStation 3, Polyphony Digital has the freedom to raise the bar dramatically as they have a much larger canvas to fill. And with each stroke, they get closer and closer to Kazunori's ultimate vision. で、テクスチャーも a big part of Polyphony Digital's success is how they managed to squeeze so much performance out of the PlayStation hardware. After all, the P3 